Good evening. We are continuing to follow breaking news that is devastating many across the political world tonight. If you are just now joining us, Congressman-elect Luke Letlow has died from complications of COVID-19. Letlow was born on December the 6th of 1979 to Diane and Johnny Letlow, a retired pharmacist and volunteer fire chief for the Start Fire Department, a ninth-generation Louisianan from Start in Richland Parish, attending Start Elementary, Washlock Christian High School, and graduate of Louisiana Tech University in Rust. Letlow's first job was as a shoe salesman back in high school. A lifelong Republican, Letlow has served most recently as chief of staff for Congressman Ralph Abraham throughout his term in Congress since 2014. Letlow previously served the special assistant to Governor Bobby Jindal, as well as district director for Louisiana's first congressional district, as well as a long career in both the political and private sector before winning his election on December the 5th. Our team had the chance to speak with Letlow several times just after winning the District 5 congressional election on December the 5th. To give you another look at those final interviews with us, our own Hunter Elise is back with us again in studio. Hunter. Bodie, that's right. We've done numerous amount of interviews, and here is that exact interview we had just minutes after he won 5th Congressional District. Well, I'm going to, uh, again, be able to hit the ground running. Uh, so much of what uh, Congressman Abraham already had in place is going to be great in terms of uh, moving forward. Our staff largely is, uh, remains intact that uh, we had before. Uh, but I'm also going to focus on, you know, how do I make sure I'm well positioned to be able to get on a good committee that impacts this district. Already making phone calls to do that, you know, to get on the radar of some of these other uh, members of Congress who are in leadership. Uh, and I want my time to count. You know, if I'm going to uh, go in every week to Washington, D.C. and represent this district, I'm not going there to get the headlines or the sound bites. I want results. That's why I'm doing this. Awesome, perfect. And, you know, what is one thing that you just really want to focus on and just you're determined to do when you're in office? Right. So our rural communities all over this district, they're hurting. You know, one, obviously their infrastructure is crumbling, and two, their sales tax revenues or whatever uh, just aren't meeting their needs. So we've got to make sure that uh, from the federal government to, we can at least help uh, these communities, whether it be small USDA loans or, uh, or other sort of investments like that. We got such good people here. You know, if we can invest in our infrastructure, rural broadband, actually get these communities connected to the world, we can do anything we want. And, you know, just watching that interview now, seeing what all the congressmen had hoped to accomplish while in Washington, now that we have learned of his passing, is uh, difficult to put into words. Statements are pouring in from all over the political spectrum from those who knew and worked with Congressman Ludlow. Senator Bill Cassidy releasing this video statement on Twitter tonight. It's now public that Luke Ludlow has died. The young man recently elected to represent Louisiana's 5th Congressional District leaving behind a beautiful wife, a widow, two young, young children. Remember them all in your prayers. Um, just, 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 just brings home, COVID can kill. Most people, for most folks it doesn't, but it truly can. So as you remember Luke, his widow, his children in your prayers, remember as well to be careful with COVID. Do everything we know we should do. And a fellow colleague of Letlow's at the Capitol, Senator John Kennedy, releasing this on Twitter tonight. Becky and I, along with my team who knew Congressman-elect Luke Letlow well, are heartbroken. For years, Luke has served Louisiana tirelessly. More than that, Luke was a loving husband and father. Please join us in praying for the Letlow family during this time of incredible loss. Attorney General Jeff Landry releasing this statement upon the Congressman-elect's death. Luke Letlow led an honorable life and public service to our state and our nation. Luke was a true statesman committed to making Louisiana better. Luke's death is a great tragedy, and Sharon's and my prayers are with Julia and the kids. And our own governor, John Bell Edwards, releasing this statement saying it is with heavy hearts that Donna and I offer our condolences to Congressman-elect Luke Letlow's family on his passing after a battle with Congressman uh, with COVID-19. Congressman-elect Letlow felt a calling from a young age to serve the people of his home state, working behind the scenes for former Governor Bobby Jindal, and serving as the chief of staff to Congressman Ralph Abraham. And 
and also speaking highly of the congressman's past career and achievements. We wish we had more time to share with you much of the congressman's uh, life, legacy, and career that we can't just quite fit into a 30-minute newscast. Many more statements are pouring in and will continue to pour in tonight. But as we close this newscast, I would like to offer my own sincere condolences to the Letlow family and his children tonight and many of those who are feeling mourning and grief from the congressman-elect's passing. This has been NBC 10 News at 10. I'm Bodie Brooks. Have a good night.